Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the food sprite fall to the ground. Okay, so we've already got our functioning bowl. So what I'm going to do in this food sprite is I wanna make it so it resets to the top of the screen and then it's going to fall down to this, uh, the bottom and if it touches the bowl or the um, ground, it's going to go back up to the top. So I know there are two things that I want to do, uh, two functions that I want to create. One is I want to make the sprite reset. Whoops. So I can call a function like reset sprite. And then the other thing that I want to do is I want to make the sprite fall to the ground. It's flow. That's not how you spell fall. Yeah, it is. Okay, so make the sprite fall to the ground and reset sprite. So I've created two functions in here, and I knew that in advance because I thought about what I wanted the sprite to do, and I went, okay, one is it's going to fall, and the other is it's going to reset to the top. So if you know in advance what you want to do, it's pretty helpful to just go ahead and create your functions right at the beginning. All right, so for the first one, um, the reset sprite, there are two different ways that I'm gonna show you that you can do this. You can find even more. But the first way is I'm going to have the sprite go to a random position anywhere, and then I'm going to set the Y to 160. So no matter what, it's always gonna go to a random position and then go to the very top every time it resets. Okay, now another way that you could do this code is you could actually use this go to block and type in 160 here. And then for the um, X position, you can pick random. Now all the way on the left is negative 240 and all the way on the right is positive 240. So this code does the exact same thing as this code right here. However, you could make it so that maybe you only want the sprite to appear somewhere in the middle of the top, something like that. So this gives you more control over it. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one, and I'm just gonna use uh, this code right here, go to random position, and then set Y to 160. Pick whichever one um, is more appropriate for your project. Okay, now my second uh, function was to make it so that this is going, the food sprite will fall to the ground. So I'm going to use a repeat until because I want it to repeat falling until it touches the ground. So I'm going to use the um, less than and we're gonna say if it goes below 160, which will be like somewhere down here where my mouse is, then um, we'll have it reset. So the thing that it's going to do is it's going to check the Y position. Y is up and down, X is left and right. So it's going to check the Y. And as long as the Y is a number that is more than 160, then it's going to um, keep doing this thing, changing Y by minus five. So check this out. I'm gonna click on this block, which will make it run this function. And it goes all the way down to the bottom. Cool. And it stopped, it's no longer yellow. And then I click the reset sprite, that'll make it go to the top. And then it'll run this one. It'll go down to the bottom and then stop. So now all I need to do is just combine these two functions that I created. And by the way, that process was called decomposition. I was coming up with chunks of functions uh, and then I'm putting it together. So I'm going in here, going to forever, reset my sprite, and then make it fall to the ground. So now when I press the green flag, it reset it, went to the bottom, and it's going to keep doing this forever and ever and ever. So that's all you have to do to make a falling food sprite in your project. Start with your two functions, one reset, one to make it fall to the ground, add in code like this, and then simply use those two blocks inside of a forever loop, and that'll make your program run. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.